the gods fashioned man and woman from two trees, to which they gave spirit and life, wit and feeling, form and speech, hearing and sight, clothing and names. So say the Asian, the Hispanic, the Jew, the African, the Native American, the Sioux, the Catholic, the Muslim, the French, the Greek, the Irish, the rabbi, the priest, the sheik, the gay, the straight, the preacher, the privileged, the homeless, the teacher. They hear, they all hear, the speaking of the tree. stand here on this cliff so that the little ones may make of me their medicine. Look at my roots, a sign of my old age. When the little ones make me their symbol, they too will live to see their toes gnarled with age. Look at my branches, how they bend. With these as symbols, the people will live to see their own shoulders bent with age. Look at the feathery tips of my branches. When the little ones make these their symbols, they will live to see their own hair white with age as they travel the path of life. Throughout all the world cultures, trees hold the power to calm, to protect, to heal, to comfort, to shelter. Will future generations know the gifts of the tree? The baobab tree is filled with mystery and honored like an elder. You can plant your very own tree. 11,000 acres of woodlands lost in the floods of 93. To cure toothache, you should sit under an ash tree and cut your toenail. Shrubs and trees both bend in worship. Don't forget to mulch your young trees. The Torah, also known as the tree of life. Fortunately, a tree is a living thing. It talks back to you. It tells you, I'm here, yes, I'm living. Give me water, nurture me, and I will nurture you tomorrow. If our leaders could only see the forest for the trees. 
We should treat a tree like it was our best friend. At some fundamental level, this tree and I are made of the same rhythms. We share a common understanding available in the meeting place of touch. Reaching out, I find a simple way to begin a conversation. Coming close, I offer my hands in greeting. Throughout history, trees have been used to celebrate birth, to ritualize death, and trees have come to symbolize the promise of life. Maya went to the foot of a sala tree and desired to seize a branch. The branch, like the tip of a sepal reed, bent down and came within the reach of her hand. Stretching out her hand, she seized the branch. Thereupon she was shaken with the throes of birth. So the multitude set up a curtain for her and retired. Holding the branches and even while standing, she was delivered. And so goes the birth of Buddha. Mine's the best tree in the yard. <laughs> well, Tom, I'm glad you think so. It has really big leaves and they turn really yellow in the fall. Do you remember what kind it is? Mm, it's a linden, right? That's right. We got a linden because your folks almost named you linden. Cool. Let's measure it. Tom, you know we always measure you and your tree on your birthday. But, Grandpa, that's so far away. It's just next week, Tom. Please, Grandpa, please. Well, of course we can. It never hurts to check the progress on our little Linden. It's a lot bigger than you, Grandpa. You're right, Tom. You're right. In a small Midwestern city, love notes are dropped into a hole where a tree will grow. They are not notes between two lovers, but rather notes of hope. Survivors of homicide victims in the Cedar Rapids, Iowa area connected to their loved ones through planting a symbolic tree. It's a chance to still talk to the one that you've lost, letting them know the love is still there, and it's the way to show there is still something beyond the loss. few days, but when I talked to her, she was cheerful in spite of this knowledge. Pointing through the window of the Nazi camp hut, she said, This tree here is the only friend I have in my loneliness. Through that window, she could see just one branch of the chestnut tree, and on the branch were two blossoms. I often talk to this tree. I asked her if the tree replied. Yes. What did it say? It said to me, I am here. I am here. cedar for the boy, a palm for the girl. A tree is planted to commemorate each birth. Later, when married, 
The children may use branches from their birth trees to make a canopy. A canopy which reminds us all that we live in one world under God's loving canopy in harmony with nature. vision of a Sioux holy man, there is emerging a deep and profound connection between ourselves and our ancient selves, the trees. Acts of creation are ordinarily reserved for gods and poets, but humbler folks may circumvent this restriction if they know how. To plant a pine, for example, one needs be neither God nor poet. One need only own a shovel. By virtue of this curious loophole in the rules, any clodhopper may say, let there be a tree, and there will be one. If his back be strong and his shovel sharp, there may eventually be 10,000. And in the seventh year, he may lean upon his shovel and look upon his trees and find them good. Much like your Native American's relationship with the buffalo, the ancient Irish, the Celts, revered the sacred oaks. Its acorns were the mainstay of their livestock. Si te subes a un árbol de limón, siente la corteza con tus rodillas y pies. Huele sus flores blancas Talla las hojas entre tus manos. Recuerda, el árbol es mayor que tú. Y tal vez encuentres cuentos entre sus ramas. The acacia tree, native to Africa, has deep roots and can survive through drought and famine. Its wood was used by the Israelites to build the Ark of the Covenant. And since biblical times, the acacia has been a symbol of stability and resilience. And while I stood there, I saw more than I can tell, and I understood more than I saw, for I was seeing, in a sacred manner, the shapes of all things in the spirit, and the shape of all shapes, as they must live together like one being. And I saw that the sacred hoop of my people was one of many hoops that made one circle, white as daylight and as starlight. And in the center grew one mighty flowering tree to shelter all the children of one mother and one father. And I saw that it was holy. Metakwe Oyasin.
Have you ever seen a 